Welcome back to another episode of Villa MC. Today we're going to be working on making a actual base. Over there I've got a bit of an outline measurement started with dirt. But first, I have emptied out my inventory and I want to take a look at a farm that somebody has made. It's the same kind of farm that we were working on last episode and in the live stream. So one good thing is there's a better looking spawn for the end, but at the same time, my big plan to get money on this server has been ruined because where I was going to sell ender pearls for super cheap at the one way out there or that I gather from the one way out there while I was editing and, and doing adult stuff and getting things done this got made and it's only th it's 32 diamonds but you never have to play pay again I just want to take a quick look at it and uh, okay so I don't think I can go in without being accused of using it but I'm not happy that my only farm that I started the only way I was going to get anywhere you know, financially on the server is now somebody else's gig Alright, so we're, I'm back at my Enderman farm. The one that I didn't get to complete because I didn't get an Endermite in there yet. And I'm going to see if I can complete it because it'd be... Even though they have built exactly what I was building... It'd be a shame to let all this hard work go to waste. Especially how dangerous it was. So I'm going to see if I can get an Endermite to appear. I have gotten some protection two and three armors with uh, Feather Falling two to so that way I can throw more Ender Pearls before having to try again. I accidentally brought some stuff I didn't need. Uh, we'll take the food up. But yeah, I'm really upset that uh, I couldn't have been like, hey, recognized thing and not competition for the sake of competition. Uh, okay, so here's what we need. We need, need the name tag ready, we need the minecart ready, and we need the ender pearls. And I don't have a lot of room. Oh, I'm, I'm actually not taking too much damage. That's good. That is way better. So let's take the shield off and Yeah, got him. Okay, uh, next step, I think was build like this around here. Oh. Whoa, whoa, don't hurt me. Okay, gotta get him in there. Oh, yes. 
I was getting worried. I was on my last stack of pearls. There we go. And I think that the Enderman should be able to see that. Yeah, I hope so anyway. Oh, okay. I got to pull up the tutorial and finish this off. Oh, man, I'm so glad it spawned this. All right, so we've got this pretty much completed. Looks like the spawn platform is out of render distance at the moment. Let's get the carpet that I had to leave for and we'll grab some um, wood. Maybe not that much. Yeah. Let's make sure I put it in there right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I checked a uh, little extra details because I was worried about Endermen being able to get out this way. Which, oh no, it looks like they are on top of where I put string. Uh, I gotta make sure that the, oh gosh. Okay, let's see if we can push these guys off, but not until after we put the stuff away <laughs> that we had that I had to go and collect. All right, so I went through and I checked that everything was right. So now we get the moment of truth and I thought the bridge was gone there. Oh my gosh. We're going, we're going to unlight the spawn platform. Okay, so now it's dark enough for them to spawn here. be down there when they come through so they're sacrificing some scaffolding there oh it's already working oh yeah Oh, yes, it's working. We're not even doing anything and we're getting pearls already. This is a terrifying noise. And then... I'm pretty sure that if we come out here, we'll be safe. Even though we looked at them. I'm ready to die. And I didn't, they can't come get me here. Oh, I'm so happy this works. Now I have worked out a deal with, with the red man and who has built a guardian farm. We're going to supply ender pearls to people that use the guardian farm. All right, so I have gotten a inventory full of ender pearls. We're going to meet up with Red to ooh, uh, supply them with the ender pearls for our joint venture with the XP farms. And I'm on my way over to there now. 
All right, so I'm here at Redman's Guardian Farm. We are teaming up because Penguin has made a farm that outdoes both of us in supplying people with ender pearls as well as XP. So uh, Red's farm is closer to everybody. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna supply Red with all these ender pearls and we're going to supply ender pearls to players that that pay to use Red's farm. Mm -hmm. So tell tell the viewers there's what else we're doing here. All right. So uh, we were planning on building. So as uh, Citrus may have already told you, we're built, going to uh, work together to uh, kind of beat Penguin. We're kind of competing for the top spot of X, both XP farm, and so. Uh, we were planning on building a little ender pearl station where people can just like press a button every time they come here and get like eight ender pearls or 16 ender pearls or something like that so then uh not only will they get free ender pearls every time they come here but they also get uh xp from the guardians which according to my sources is actually the best source of xp i'm not actually sure on that anyways yeah that's pretty much everything that we're doing here Oh, and now it clears up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm over here at Orange Incorporated. It's Aesthetic Orange's shop. And in between episodes, they actually gave me a extra diamond pick as well as a book for Fortune 3, which I applied to my already enchanted pick. But now I just need to come over here and they're selling silk touch books so I'm definitely going to buy one of those and uh, that way I can uh, start getting resources for my foundation for my base so now that I have that I'm gonna go get that enchanted and oh I need that but uh, that was all my diamonds yeah, I'm poor. I'm poor. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get some stone so I can get started. Okay, so I got a bunch of diamonds from a mining session. I had to get a bunch of smooth stone, and I managed to get a lot of diamonds from that. So, I say I come back here, and it is time for my silk touch pickaxe to have mending so we're going to buy one of these for seven diamonds oh man yeah and then we have 11 left i don't think i want any of that if anything Diamond armor for cheaper than what would be to, uh, is it this one? 32 diamonds per set. Uh, okay, maybe not. Let me just check the other shops. Actually, there's one over here. Don't want to forget about that. It's mostly mechanical stuff. Elytras for a hundred and twenty diamonds. That for twenty potatoes. Chanted books. No. And then. So I've taken a break from my town area real quick because there is another farm that I wanted to put together. You might not recognize it from a previous video of mine. It's my flower farm. Now, obviously, I still got to do the redstone hookups for the water, and I got to. Uh, like do something about the fact that that's kind of hard to reach right there to put bone mail in but some of these spots have blue flowers able to appear so 
it's not as good and varied as like a flower forest, but I can still make blue dye. And I'm going to probably have to make more than one of these once I get more situated and powerful. But anyway, I'm going to shift gears and start building some wall because I have gotten some resources put together for start starting work on the foundation here. All right, so I got an entire half of this done on uh, this wall plus the one on the side because since the hill goes up up so high oh wait okay so I got a little more to do on that side but uh, for the top part I didn't have to do much because the hill got up so high and I'm not gonna have to do much to get that corner done but I am down to my last 13 pieces of uh, stone bricks and I think this looks pretty good. I'm trying to get a good good angle on it, but uh, all this bamboo's in the way. Hey, uh, definitely, definitely stands out as something that wasn't here before. Oh, and also, last night, I forgot to mention this, last night I found a skeleton trap and I captured three skeleton horses and a chicken. The chicken just kind of wandered in there on its own. And, uh, it wants to be a skeleton horse. That chicken has dreams of being dead and a horse. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to be selling these sometime soon. But uh, I'm going to keep working on various things and I'll be back. All right, so I've gotten this entire foundation in placed. At least uh, not necessarily the walls completed, just same as what we've been at, but I uh, don't really want to close that up just yet. And I have gotten some of the resources needed to start putting the walls in place, and I want to do that so that way I can pick the scaffolding up. and. And uh, yeah, I've got it all measured out and we're going to have like nine rooms on the first floor at least. All right, so I got my walls built up and I got the room outlines placed. Kind of makes this whole thing look like a big tic-tac-toe board. But I'm currently in the process of turning the concrete powder walls into concrete. This means that I'm destroying my torches torches in the process and so I gotta place those back as I go along and thankfully these room markers are gonna help out with that all right so I made a map and I got lucky the whole base is in within one map I don't have to expand it or anything like that so what I'm going to do is I'm working on getting my entrance built. I've uh, got a nice slope for that. And and uh, what we're going to do with the map is I'm going to mark out the different rooms. And I'm going to have to make, make the map stay permanent after I do that. So I need to take care of all this area to make the map look nice considering that my base is not actually centered on the map. So I'm going to start working on this. I might live stream some of that and if I don't have part of it done already by the time I live stream tomorrow. And I just ate out of habit mid-sentence there. Sorry about that. Haha. <laughs> but I am going to line this with stone because this particular spot is going to be the wall of the bridge i'm sorry dog you need to get down there let's let's make you sit and here's some here's some food there you go all right so 
I'm hoping this looks better than my previous this, uh, bridge like this. <laughs> so a little bit ago, I was told that something was put into my donation chest and I just wanted to see what it was for the first time on camera. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, a diamond. Yay. So that makes 11 diamonds right now. I'm going to keep working. So that diamond was actually from Penguin. Afterwards, we actually uh, checked out each other's farms. And mine is actually faster. And then he helped me get my stuff from the nether where I died on stream. So if you caught the stream, you might have seen that. All right. So I was just thinking about getting... Um, chickens bread in there like get more of them in there and then this guy shows up and he's got armor on so I didn't have to put a roof over him but I had a name tag that I just found on the stream so oh I used it anyway because I don't know if I'm gonna manage to get the thing and this armor he spawned with so he's he will just spawn if I don't I'm gonna do the name tag and all. So, got one out of two, and I will be able to use this guy later on to start making this be filled with villagers. All right, all right, I just found a villager. Uh, now, also, the some mobs have been moving really fast, so I'm a little worried, but I'm gonna let him out. All right, okay, he's moving normal speed. I have seriously been having some skeletons like run after me. Oh no. I Get rid of you. And then uh, I guess I'll make you some stairs. All right, dude, let's go up here. Uh, we'll take a shortcut. Got okay, come on. Go get in here. Hey. Hey buddy. Is it fermented spider eye first? Potion of okay. Get away, get, get away. Keep away. Okay, let's see here. I'm looking on the wiki. Okay, uh Okay, gunpowder is already on there, I think, and then, oh, yeah, just gunpowder and thing. I just wanted to check that so I don't end up messing it up. Okay, so that's going to run through there. Now, do I need to have him follow me while I get some gold? have some. <laughs> Just 
running away. Okay, I don't have enough. Okay, so I'm gonna have him follow me so he doesn't despawn. Shoot. You said. Grab all of those. Lure him back outside. Shoot the creeper. Okay, there's one golden apple. Close this up. Okay, I could pr I can probably get away with only using one. And one's a nitwit, but you know, we already could tell that from his clothes. Yay! Okay, now I just gotta make this place safe. And I should probably bring some beds in here. Huh, so I was just checking to see how much time we have for the episode and and uh, Wandering Trader showed up. I don't have any emeralds. I can't do anything. Come on inside. <laughs> but you can be my, uh, just don't despawn, okay? All right, I'm glad we can agree on that. So I got this ceiling put up and it serves as a purpose for both on this map because I'm going to mark what each room has in it uh, villager wise as well as I don't want any lightning causing any witches the different rooms are going to need different designs I only know how I'm going to decorate the librarian's room because obviously the library and bookshelves but I'm not sure how I want to design the rest of them, and I need to figure that out fast. As aside from that, I'm gonna need to have you comment on this video. Tell me what would make a good theme for 
each profession because I really need that help there. And, and then uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. And don't forget to click the bell. Oh, and don't forget, comment. I need to know how to decorate interior design. I got this big base. I really need to know what's a good idea for inside these rooms. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I mean, creator.